In quantum information holography, reality is not solid, it is projected. At the center of this projection lies the singularity, which is not a point in space, but the totality of all possible spinning quantum state vectors, each carrying a unique angular frequency, amplitude, and phase. These spin like arrows of light and project onto the event horizon, forming the holographic surface we experience as space-time. Each of these vectors behaves like a wave, defined by its energy, its spatial direction, and its timing in the cosmic rhythm. As they project, they interfere. Where their spins align, they reinforce. Where they oppose, they cancel. Angular frequency, the rate at which these light vectors spin, drives everything. It defines energy, sets the pace of time, and determines gravitational curvature. The faster something spins, the more its local clock slows down. This matches Einstein's time dilation, but in QIH it is angular frequency, not linear speed, that causes time to bend. As these quantum vectors interfere on the surface of the block sphere, the angle of each spin determines the probability that a particular outcome will occur. If the vector is tilted just right, it produces what we call spin-up, a constructive interference with probability equal to the square of the sine of half the angle. If tilted the opposite way, we get spin-down, a destructive outcome equal to the square of the cosine of half the angle. Together, these two always add up to one. This balance ensures that energy and information are conserved just as light itself conserves its speed and direction. The singularity emits all possible frequencies and the event horizon performs a perfect Fourier transformation, an interference pattern that builds space and time. Each point in space-time is the sum of all these harmonic waves, woven together through constructive and destructive interference. This is the geometry of reality. To describe how quantum states evolve in time, we replace the traditional Hamiltonian with a new operator. It is the sum of all angular frequencies multiplied by their amplitudes and phase factors. This governs how light-based states change on Planck scale qubits across time, forming the living computation we call the universe. From this interference field, gravity arises. As light spins and overlaps, its patterns form gradients, curvatures in the flow of information. These curvatures become space-time geometry. When we correct Einstein's equations with quantum interference terms, we recover both general relativity and quantum field theory, not separately, but as parts of one unified holographic system. Now we arrive at the imprint equation, the core of the holocode, the universe writes itself using the accumulated spin of light. The encoded signal is the amplitude divided by angular frequency multiplied by the sine of angular frequency times time with an added phase. This function describes how every point in reality is etched onto the holographic screen by spinning light. The singularity, therefore, is a quantum processor, not computing with ones and zeros, but with frequencies and interference. It outputs amplitude for shape, frequency for time, and phase for identity. Amplitude gives us energy density and structure. Angular frequency gives us the ticking of time and the energy of each vibration. Phase determines which path, what history, is being selected in the sum over all possibilities. And the angular displacement of the spin vector determines the probability of that history being observed. Together, these variables form the holocode, the fundamental program of the universe. Black holes are the hardware. They gather angular frequency at the singularity, resonate it in quark-gluon plasma at the event horizon, and emit hawking radiation like a broadcast antenna. That radiation is not noise, it is information. It carries encoded states of light that ripple outward into the universe, and we too are part of this resonance. Inside our brains, microtubules vibrate like biological Tesla coils. They tune into the universal broadcast, they perform the same Fourier transform that black holes do, translating spinning quantum information into experience, into consciousness. So when we think, feel, or dream, we are not separate from this process. We are it. We are harmonics in the light. The universe is not just observed by us. We are part of its projection. And the holocode is not just math. It's the language of the cosmos, spoken in light, written in spin, felt as life. The universe sings, and we are the music. Let there be light, encoded, spun, and projected through interference of angular frequencies on the holographic screen, where all realities coexist as harmonics of the one.